Okay, my Algebra 1 students, how's life? I hope it's good. Uh, today we're doing substitution, which we should have done on Friday. Should have done on Friday. I'll put a little sub there. <clears throat> now, substitution means you're going to solve one of the equations for one of the variables to find the rule for that equation and then put it into the other equation to force that rule. Now the first one I'm going to do, then I'm going to do the steps with this one. Because this one's already set up. You have a 1y equals. that what we're looking for? One of the equations is solved for either the x or the y. So I'm going to take this, the rule for the first equation for y, and put it in to the second equation for y. So I'd have 3 x plus 5, put in the 2x plus 1, equals 18. So now I have one equation with one variable. So I'm going to distribute the 5. So it would be 10x plus 5 equals 18. Now I should be able to solve this. This is chapter 2. Oh my goodness, back when we were just wee lads and ladettes. So I would combine the x's. Now remember, if it's on the same side, you just combine it. Don't change anything. But if we're going across the equals, that's when we do the opposite. So that's plus 5, so I'll subtract 5. 18 minus 5 is 13. So now I'm going to divide both sides by 13. So x equals uno. Now, I'm not done because I have an x and a y. So I have to put this back in for x, the 1, either here or here. Doesn't matter which one. So I'll put it into the first one. So I'd have y equals 2 times 1 plus 1. So it's y equals 2 plus 1, which is 3. So my answer is 1, 3. It's always alphabetical. And since there is a number answer, that means it's an intersection. It crosses at 1, 3. Um, let's try the next one. Okay, the first thing I want to do is solve for one of the variables. Doesn't matter which variable or which equation. But here's a tip from Uncle Murphy. People don't listen to me. But always solve. For an equation that has a variable with a 1 in front, or for the next one, negative 1 in front. Always do that. That makes it so much easier so you don't have fractions. So don't write this down. What I'm about to write down, don't write down. But let's say we have 3x plus 4y equals 5. And I say, hey, solve for the x. So you'd subtract 4y. Don't write this down. Don't write this down. Divide by 3. Oh, no, I got fractions. Do you want to work with fractions? If you do, go ahead, but you'll probably mess it up. So uh, if there's a variable that has a 1 or negative 1 in front of it, solve for that one. That way you don't have to deal with fractions. Well, looky here. I see x, which is the same as 1x. So let's solve for that variable. I'm going to subtract 2y from both sides. So I'd have x minus, or excuse me, x equals uh, 2 minus 2y. Now we're going to substitute into the other equation. Substitute into other equation. Now if you want to stop the video at any time, so I'm not going too fast, that's okay. Hey, life is good. Substitute into the other equation. Four solved variable. So, I solved for the x. So I'm going to put this in for the other equation. It has to be the other equation. Don't put it in the same equation. It is mass. We don't want to mass. So we would have three parentheses because I'm replacing the x with this. Two minus t y equals, oh, plus 4y, almost lost the 4y, bad Murphy, bad Murphy. So this would be distribute the 3, so we're going to just solve it. We did this first semester, oh my goodness. 
So I'm going to combine the y, same side, don't change anything, so it would be minus 2y equals, subtract the 6, we're going to cross the equal, so you do the opposite, so that's negative 1. So divide by negative 2, y equals a half. Whoa. Now once we find one variable, now you solve, uh, well, let's say solve, and then 4, solve for other variables. Uh, bam. I'll move this over and up so you can see it. There we go. So we want to solve for one of the variables. Doesn't matter which one. I did x, but it's got a 1 or negative 1. It makes it easier. Substitute into the other equation, which I did. 2 minus 2y, boink. Then I solved. Should be able to solve it. It's one variable now. Now, last thing I need to do is solve for that variable. So I'm going to use this equation. x equals t minus t times a half, so x equals t, t times a half is 1, so x equals 1, so it's intersection. Now the all the ones we're doing to, uh, in this video are intersections. The two special ones we'll do in the future. Now, whew. so I look at this, I need to solve for a variable. Let's see, ooh, that's 3, ooh, 4, ooh, ooh, 1. And that's negative 1. So either 1 would be fine. I'm going to solve for this y. Why? I don't know. So I'm going to subtract 3x. So that would be minus y equals negative 3x plus 3. Then I'm going to take the opposite of both sides. Yes, I will. So I get y equals 3x minus 3. Now I'm going to put that back into this equation for y. So I'd have 4x. Ooh, it's just a y. Easy. Just put it in there. Put it in there, I said. Equals 11. So this would be, I think that's a plus. Made a little boo-boo. 4x plus 3x, 7x. And I'm going to the other side, so you do the other sign. So 11 plus 3 is 14. Divide by 7. X equals dose. But I'm not done. No, I'm not. I need to find Y, so I'm going to put this in to this variable. So be Y equals 3. Bring it up so you can see it a little better. Sorry. Uh, 2 minus 3. So y equals 6 minus 3, so y equals 3. So alphabetical, so the answer is 2, 3. X, Y, alphabetical. So again, that's an intersection, but that's all we're doing today. So I want you to right now turn the video off and do this problem. Then turn it back on and I'll do it. Okay, let's do this here. So I'm going to solve for this. It's got a 1. I like that 1. So x equals, I'm going to subtract 3y. You see, it's plus 3y, so across the equals, always do the opposite. So it'd be 4 minus 3y. So I'm going to put that into, yeah. So I'd have 5. 4 minus 3y plus 4y equals 9. I don't know why I've gotten so much bigger, but hey, it sounds fun. 20 minus 15y plus 4y equals 9. So I'm going to combine the y's. Minus 15 plus 4 is minus 11y. And subtract 20. So divide by negative 11. y equals 1. So now I'm going to put that back up here. So x equals 4 minus 3 times the 1. y is 1. So x equals 4 minus 3. So x equals 1. Ooh, got a little sloppy there. So my answer is 1, 1. The sleeping owl. Doesn't that look like an owl? The sleeping owl. I don't know. Okay, do one more for me. I'd be very happy. Hey, it's right there. Well, wait a minute. We got to stop. Today's program was brought to you by Swiss Miss. Ooh, when you're cold outside, you can warm the inside. 
Mmm. -mm. Okay, good. So do this problem, just turn it off, do the problem, then turn it back on. So notice, this is 5, 4, and 3, so I really don't want to do those. I'm going to do this. So I'm going to solve for the y. So I'm going to subtract 5x. So always do the opposite, positive 5x. So I'm going to subtract it to go across the equals. Divide by negative 1, because I need a positive 1. Let's bring it up here, see it a little better. So it would be negative 6 plus 5x. Took the opposite of both. Now I'm going to take this and put it in we here. The other one. So I'll actually bring it over here. 4x plus 3 times a negative 6 plus 5x equals uno. Watch this. That's where I mess up. I always write it sloppy, then I think it's a y. So be very careful. Sorry about all the movement. Makes you a little dizzy. So 4x, uh, 3 times negative 6 is minus 18. 3 times 5 is 15. So this would be 19x. And I'm going to add 18. You always do the opposite to go across the equals. Divide by, oh, that'd be 19. I'm sorry, 1 plus 18 is 19. Now I'm getting sloppy. I'm trying to rush here because it's about out of time. So x equals 1. Woohoo! Now put that back in up here. Uh, so uh, x equals 1. So 4 times 1 plus 3y equals 1. So I'm going to subtract 4. Minus 4, minus 4. Let's do this. So it would be 3y equals negative 3. Because 1 minus 4 is negative 3. So divide by... I made a little mistake here. Let's do this. It's 3y. So divide by 3. y equals negative 1. So my answer is 1 negative 1. x is 1, y is negative 1. Let's see if that works. Now to see if it works, just plug in the number for x and y. So 4 plus uh, 3 times negative 1 is minus 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. And 5 minus and minus 1 is 6. So good. Sorry I rushed at the end, but I'm about out of time. You can only use 15 minutes. So have a good day. Life is good. Oh, 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 oh. oh wait a minute. Here's the homework. <laughs> Uh, where is it? I lost it.